Hey guys, so I decided to do a tutorial in front of Dr. Rose Hayes slash Lolita. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, I've never read the book. Um, it's about like, sexually promiscuous tabloid, and it's like if you watch the movie, it's really crazy, and I really like it. So I decided to be really heavily inspired by it, and this book also inspired me to do this one. So, yeah. So first, we're just going to spray the tango and everything else, create wash the hair, which I love about this hairstyle. I do it all the time. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna brush it out. Brush, 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 brush. I have really thick hair, so it'll take longer than some people. But yeah, the magic of editing make it seem like it just happened in a second, but it didn't. And you're gonna need a lot of body pins for this. Just saying four for me because I have bangs and everything. So first, separate your bangs out from your real, like your normal length hair. Don't, I don't always do that, but it's a whole lot easier to do that because then it just looks weird if you have bangs and try to braid it in with it and just then it's not that long, so it just looks weird. So now just braid your hair. Make it down really braid your hair. Just remember that you're going to put it up. So just, yeah, try to put those bumps. I get those bumps all the time too, so don't be sad if you get the bumps. Just like, practice makes perfect. And yeah, my eyebrows aren't done in this part, so I look awesome. Look how beautiful I look. Yeah, so just braid it and braid it till it goes down. Obviously, this would be a whole lot easier or that it would look nicer if you have longer hair. My hair doesn't bleed. Like, this is my middle part and it goes the way to the middle, so my hair thinks it goes to the middle of my head. So it's just, it's just perfect, but obviously, if you have longer hair, you can make it look doubled and it look prettier and it look nicer. And yeah, I also braid my bangs. I separated my bangs and I braided it. And so yeah, this is how I do my touch braid if anyone wanted to know. Um, I was not that little, you know. When I first started doing these, but I really, really like this hairstyle, and you can tell I've been for this weeks. But I really like this hairstyle a lot, so it's not just, you know, yeah. This is going to be a Halloween tutorial, but I don't think I'm going to make it a Halloween tutorial. I'm just going to make it an inspired tutorial, because I really, really like this. So, yeah, the idea of this was really fun for me, so, yeah. Okay, so this is the hair all done. Um, I obviously did my eyebrows, too. But yeah, um, first we're going to start with Consilla because obviously she's 12 years old and the 12 year old has bags in her eyes or have any like problems. Most people don't even know her mom died and all that, but obviously she doesn't really have very much problems. So young, the younger you are, the, you know, your face is perfect, not pimples or anything. So yeah, I'm going to her. Um, I don't really want to use foundation. And so yeah, I'm just going to blend her in and just... Yeah, if you haven't read the book, I'm sorry if I spoiled you. Um, anyway, so now we're just going to put powder on our eyes. You can see my eyes back on. And put the powder on our eyes just to set the concealer because you don't want it stepping off. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to use this cream shadow powder, the one above the one on the far left. And I'm just going to powder my eyes with it. It'll just make your eyes look brighter and more open. And that's always good. I'm using this MAC powder, which I haven't used MAC in a for a long time. So. I'm just using that color color too, I don't know the name of it because, yeah, my palette's thing in the back here stopped. But anyway, we're just going to put it on our eyes and it looks really pretty. And I think I should really use this color normally, but I never have. So, I think this is a really pretty color and you should try it. Oh, but then we're going to just prime my lips because you don't want it in our crevices and whatnot and your lip lipstick on. So, yeah, this is the lipstick we're wearing is my favorite red lipstick and so um, it's from Estee and it's called Stay Scarlet and we're just going to put it on. Smother it on, it's really awesome. And oh, they did have you this music. I literally went on iTunes and picked that music. I said, Well, yeah, and I listened to some of the samples, and I picked this song out. I picked two songs out one by the Veronica's and one by Linda Del Rey. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I really do like her music, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just showing you guys the book, trying to pose and do crazy stuff because I'm cool, and we can do that. And yeah, hopefully, you guys like this look. I personally love it. I don't know it's going up though. I don't think it's, I think it's going to end up going up after Halloween or something like that. But this look is really awesome and I really liked it. So hopefully you guys really liked it and I want you to hold on it. So yeah, bye, love you.